This is my smart home dashboard made with zero coating and lasts more than 30 days on battery, built with the Xiao e-paper panel and powered by the terminal firmware. It's clean, minimal, and super low power. And in this video, I'll show you how to set it up step by step. First, let's talk about the hardware. The Xiao e-paper panel from Seed Studio comes with a large 7.5-inch black and white e-paper screen, housed in a sleek 3D printed enclosure. There's a kickstand in the back. Under it, there are two buttons, an on-off switch, and a USB-C port. Let's take a look inside. We will need a thinner screwdriver for the bottom screws. There's the built-in battery, and the Xiao ESP32C3 connected to the e-paper display driver. Thanks to the ESP32, the display gets both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, which opens up a lot of possibilities. If you want to buy one of these, I have shared the link in the description, and our subscribers get a special discount. I initially planned to write my own dashboard code, but then I discovered Terminal, and honestly, it's impressive. It's a ready-made firmware you flash onto the device. After that, you link it to your terminal account and use their online tool to build your dashboard. The terminal firmware is free and open source, and they give you an option to use their services on devices other than their own. For this, you need to purchase their BYOD, that is, bring your own device license. I'll leave a link in the description. Purchase this license and you'll get a device code. Next, head over to the device claim page and provide the details and claim the device. Now let's set up the display with Terminal. Go to Terminal's online flash assistant. Here, select your device. I'm using the Xiao e-paper panel. Then select the firmware version. Then plug in your device and click on connect. Select your device from the list and select Flash Firmware. If you have any problems during this process, you can check the log from the ESP tool by right-clicking anywhere and select Inspect. Here you can see the logs. And also, we can get the MAC address of the device from here, which we will need later. So here, hit Control F and search for MAC. You will find your MAC address. Save this somewhere. Once the firmware is flashed, on your phone or computer, open the list of available Wi-Fi networks. Look for a network named TRMNL and connect to it. No password is required by default. Once connected, open a web browser the device should automatically redirect you to the terminal configuration page. If it does not, manually visit 192.168.4.1 in your browser. On the configuration page, you will see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Select your Wi-Fi network. Enter your password. Click on Connect. Once connected, the device will refresh and show the terminal configuration message. Since I have already configured my terminal account, it will automatically start displaying my dashboard. That's our YouTube stats. Next, head over to the terminal dashboard. If there is already a device listed, go to your device settings. If not, click Add Device. If your device ID is not already updated here, update it and scroll down to the MAC address section and update the MAC address that we saved earlier. Set the refresh rate of the display. This is the interval at which the display updates. At five minutes, it claims to have about 30 days of battery life, and at 60 minutes, up to 320 days. Then, turn off both 
firmware early release, and OTA updates enabled. Click on Save. Next, head over to the plugin section. As you can see, I have already connected some plugins. There are a lot of plugins available. You can install the plugins you want. And there are also recipes. These are plugins created by other community members. You can install these too. And the best part is, you can create your own plugin too. Once you have selected all the plugins you want, head over to the playlist section. All the plugins you selected should be added here automatically. If not, click on Add Plugin. Then select how you want it to show. Full screen or share the screen with another plugin. Let's say half screen. Then select which two plugins you want to show. Once added to the playlist, you can see how it looks by opening the preview image. This is how it will look on our display, and this is how it looks. And you can hide or remove plugins from the list. You can edit the settings of the plugins. And here, you can set how long each plugin is displayed. That's it. As simple as that, you have set up your smart home dashboard. It might not be obvious from the video, but something to note is that ePaper displays are slow to refresh. So, when switching between screens, this is how it is going to look. So, it is not really suitable for real-time updates like a clock, but it is ideal for displaying things that only update once in a while. And a 30-day battery life is more than enough. Comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one.